Hi, my name's Dave and I am Ripley Diorama. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a kit review of AF3 Club's SDKZ251-22 LSD pack wagon in 1 to 35 scale and the kit number is AF35083. Let's take a look at the sprues. The kit first came out in 2004 and the initial run of a thousand kits came with a bonus figure. This is not one of the initial release kits so there is no bonus figure unfortunately. Overall the quality of the casting and all the textures are quite nice, especially for an older kit. There is quite a bit of flash on some parts and also jet pin marks, but this is to be expected from an older kit. The detail on the leaf springs is quite weak, but you can't see them anywhere once it's completed, and as I say it is quite an old kit. There's a very nice wild detail on the upper hull. A little bit of warping but we'll see if that affects the construction once I build it. The hinge detail is also very crisp. The lower hull is also full of detail and there's a very nice way of connecting the hull together with the tabs which I've never seen before. There's a nice checker plate detail on the internals on the floor and also nice rivets on the bottom, very detailed. The dashboard is quite nice as well, quite good detail. The rest of the internal parts look quite nice and also the gun detail is very good. You also get extra storage, such as rifles and machine guns, which is a nice little touch. I'm guessing they're from other kits that carry the infantry, but they're nicely detailed. The detail on the tools is quite nice, a little bit weak, but again, like I say, it is an older kit, but they're nice enough. The kit also comes with some very nice vinyl trucks. The kit also comes with a small threat of photo etch along with the gun shields, there's two of them because it was a two part construction but they're photo etch which is a very nice touch, very highly detailed and also a metal gun barrel which is also a nice touch. There are colour call outs for Hobby Colour, Mr Colour, Mr Colour Spray home revel and life colour. There are market instructions for two versions, both western front, one 1945 and one 1944. There's only a small decal sheet supplied but they're nice, good detail. The instructions are nice and clear, starting off with the lower hull and then moving on to the running gear. The Lines on the instructions are a little bit confusing in places, but you, if you look at them closely, you can work out what you need to do. Then once you've done the lower hull, it's onto the running gear and the interior. The interior is nicely detailed. 
again simple instructions nice and clear once you've done the interior it's onto the actual gun itself also very clear and then the colour call outs and then finally the back page is this sprue map Here are some reference photos, they're all black and white, more for inspiration on storage and extra camouflage as opposed to paint schemes. They're all from the same site which is www.worldwarphotos.info. They've got loads of pictures on all sorts of subjects from World War II, German allied Japanese vehicles and the majority of them are all black and white but they are really good reference pictures, it's a great site. I hope you enjoyed this kit review, I've enjoyed making the video, please feel free to leave a comment or a like. This will be the subject of my next build which will be out next week. I hope you come back to watch that video and I'll see you next time.